Hey there YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're doing a worksheet event some more. Um, this should be number one, uh, number five. Uh, in the last video I said we're going to do the active worksheet activate and worksheet deactivate together. I think this one will be a little bit long if we do because of our objective. We're going to have the, um, we're going to open up what's called an input box. It's similar to a message box. Only an input box is going to ask for your input. It's going to ask you to type in a word or a number or something and click OK or cancel. Um, and then it'll do something with that value. So when this sheet is selected, whenever we're away and we select this sheet, what we want to happen is it's going to ask the user's age. And then we want, furthermore, to put that in the bottommost cell. So if this is filled in, then it would take this cell and put the age in. Otherwise, it would put this one. So we'll find the bottommost cell, and we'll use that one. So pretty simple. Let's get started. Alt F11. I uh, take that back. I'm going to right click on this sheet to make it easier, and click on View Code. That'll take me to the Activate sheet. So we're going to go to Worksheet Events, just like we have been. Only at the very top, we'll click on Worksheet Activate. That means when this sheet is clicked on, or selected, or activated. Okay, so uh, when this sheet is selected, we want to ask the user's age and put it at the bottom cell. So first off, we need to ask user's age. So that's my little note to myself. And the code to do that is, let's give it a variable. How about age num equals in input box open parentheses. Now we want the prompt, so let's put that. Uh, please give us your age. And a comma. Do we need a title? Sure. How about age, please? And we don't need any of this other stuff. So we will close parentheses. So what we're saying is the a, the variable is going to contain whatever we type in. But here's what the box says. So let's just run that so far. I'm going to click away, and I'm going to click on the sheet, and whenever it activates, it's going to ask us that. Please give us your age. Age, please, in the title. I'll type in 21, but it won't do anything. It'll run the code, and it'll complete it and lose the variable number. But if we can save age num and do something with it. So we need to get the bottom cell and shove whatever we said age num in that. So let's think. We how do we get this? We're gonna use our Excel up our end code that we've learned in an, in one of the basic series. If you haven't learned that, check that one out. I think it is let me see. It's Excel Basics uh, Excel VBA basics number eight. So Here's how we're going to do that. <coughs> we're going to say, um, we're going to say, new row equals uh, cells. Uh, and you notice I'm not putting this workbook dot sheets and putting the sheet name in there. The reason being, um, with this worksheet activate code only works on this worksheet this particular one. So I'm just going to use cells. We're going to say rows dot count comma one because we're going in column one here dot end Excel up and I'm not going to do dot row yes I am what am I saying plus one okay three oops dot row excuse me dot row plus one all that to say uh, we're going to grab this cell here and the row plus one is going to be this one. And then if this is filled, it would be that one. So we got the new row number. We were going to say cells uh, new row comma and the column we want is column one equals age num. That was the variable that we put in here earlier. So, let's try that. I'm going to click away and activate that. Please give us your age. Let's say I was 21. Click here, and put it there. Let's click away here. Click back on this sheet. 
Please give us your age. 35. Okay, looks like it's working. Hmm. Cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, next time we're going to talk about the deactivate event.